We've been talking about the budget reconciliation bill and House Democrat James Clyburn has weighed in on the price tag associated with the budget reconciliation bill. That's the bill that has all of the provisions that would really benefit Americans and their families. And he's, you know, talking about the fact that Corporate Democrats, like himself probably, and you know, corporate Democrats in the Senate, like Senator Joe Manchin, you know, want to spend a maximum of 1.5 trillion, whereas the current bill proposes spending 3.5 trillion. Well, Clyburn is saying that you know, all of this back and forth that's taking place in the public needs to stop. We need to have these discussions in smoke-filled rooms where the public doesn't know what's going on. Let's watch. Of 3.5 trillion, it's just that a ceiling. No one has ever said that that's an exact number or that's a floor. It's up to 3.5 trillion. Now I see that Joe Manchin has mentioned a 1.5 trillion dollar number, but somewhere between 1.5 and 3.5, there is two trillion dollars. Those two trillion dollars are there. And I think that there is a lot of room for people to sit down and negotiate. It may be when you're sitting around the table, you may not need 3.5 trillion to do what the president wants done and what the current country needs done. But let's work on it and stay out of all of this negotiating in the media. That's not the way to negotiate. Let's keep this around the table and see what we can come up with. Clyburn says as he's negotiating in the media. Uh, and let me just say that there should be transparency. And that's the reason why we have uh, interviews with members of Congress to begin with. It's not to ask them how their day is going or what color they painted their house. The whole point is to know what they're up to in Congress in regard to policies that have an impact on our lives. So Clyburn saying don't debate it publicly is ridiculous. Uh, but what's also ridiculous is that he's making it clear there that you know, the 3.5 trillion, um, that's the ceiling. Whereas progressive Democrats like Representative Rashida Tlaib is saying, no, that's the floor. And I like that. There, there it is, she said it in the form of a tweet. I like that because at least rhetorically so far, what we've seen from progressives is a willingness to fight and understand that in this case, they do have leverage because they can in fact withhold their vote on the bipartisan infrastructure bill, something that corporate donors desperately want, something that both Democrats and Republicans desperately want. They can withhold their vote on that unless there is a clear path forward for the passage of the budget reconciliation bill. And so far from what we've seen from them rhetorically, they're willing to withhold their vote to get what they want. And I, and I hope they stick to that. Now guys, when you see people on television, politicians don't always go on television. There's a reason why they're going on. So Clyburn went on here for a specific reason. It was not to push the bill more towards Joe Biden's position, Democratic position. Uh, the progressive position of three and a half trillion dollars. It was to push it down. Mm -hmm. And but specifically, he came on to say, stop negotiating in the media. Okay, that was the, the most important message that he was saying. And obviously, it's ironic because he's going on media to say that, as Anna pointed out. I'll get to how if he was an honest person, which he most certainly is not, but if he was an honest person, then he's the world's worst negotiator. We'll get to that in a second. But he's Understand that when Manchin had been saying for months, and same with cinema, hey, I don't accept three and a half trillion. We need to hit the pause button. One and a half trillion should be the the max we should give, etc. Clyburn never went on television and told him, hey, stop it, cut it out, right? So why is he going on now? Because now progressives are going on TV and saying, no, we need to fight back against Manchin, and we need to insist on three and a half trillion. So. You know the famous movie Horse Whisperer and the book and stuff. And and so people who are good at talking to certain creatures. In, in the case of Clyburn, he doesn't whisper and he's not good at talking to us. His job is to be the progressive screamer. So he's supposed to come out here and scream and yell at us. So he's upbraiding us here. So how dare you progressives try to get more for the voters? Is no one gonna think about our donors? Well, don't worry about it, Jim, that's your job. 
That's your job to help the donors, and which you did spectacularly here on television. Because I think he's a corporate stooge, and he purposely is ambushing the three and a half trillion dollars so that we get less, so that his donors will give him more money in the form of campaign contributions. But let's hope I'm wrong, but what's the alternative? Now, everyone agrees as a matter of logic, if you say the three and a half trillion dollars is our ceiling, and we should negotiate down, you're gonna bring the number down. That's what you're gonna do, everybody understands that, right? So at a bare minimum, Clyburn is the world's worst negotiator. Coming on here and going, I made the three and a half trillion, we don't really need it. Let's go and negotiate it all the way down, see how far, how low we can go. So Jim Clyburn, I'd like to ask you, I know this is sacrilege in Washington, because you cannot ever criticize democratic leadership. But are you stupid or are you working for your corporate donors? Because if you're not working for your corporate donors, that was a really stupid thing to do on national TV. You just cost the voters tons of money and you just saved corporations through higher taxes, tons of money. Did you go, oops, I did it again? Or you just didn't see it because you're not very bright. I don't know, inquiring minds wanna know. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.